So this is the first video that's going to cover some of the visual effects seen in my most recent short film, Friend in the Devil. So if you haven't seen it yet, you might want to check it out. And um, if you post comments below on some of the visual effects from the film, you'd like to know how I did them, uh, then I'll be more than happy to give you some breakdowns. Now these are only going to be quick tutorials that go over the techniques more than actually recreating them step by step. But hopefully you'll find them quite useful and inciting. So one of the biggest effects in quite a few of the shots in the film was the pumpkin head. Um, now I know it wasn't, it's not the greatest head removal ever, but the technique is there. Um, might want to spend more time when you do it, but I needed to get the film out. Okay, so there's a few things that I did. Obviously, first of all, you can see the actual pumpkin is simply a 2D image that is just going to go over the top. There's a few layers. Um, here you can see if we remove this layer, there is in fact um, my finger goes over the image. So what I did, I duplicated the base layer and turned it into a still frame by um, right clicking time freeze frame and then put it back over the top and now we have a tree on the side without a finger overlapping it. You can see that this layer is in fact um, a hand. I use the roto brush to easily trace around the hand. It's got the spikes and everything. Basically the purpose of that original takes, the hand overlaps the uh, pumpkin quite frequently. So the idea is that we can move the pumpkin wherever without restriction and simply put the hand back over the top of it. And then this last layer and then and then with this layer I simply added a slight blur to it and the purpose of that was to add a bit of depth of fill to it so the hand was more in focus and the pumpkin was less in focus and the bottom line, um, layer is just the base plate so a few things we did to the actual pumpkin uh, one of the main things was the reflection you can see we've got this layer that is pretty much if we solo the layer it's just part of the pumpkin that um, we increase the brightness, well I increase the brightness and added it back over and animated it so it looks like some kind of light reflection, reflect, refraction over the top um, to create this cool overall effect. In fact you probably didn't even notice it in the final film. Um, but that's the art of good visual effects and then this was um, recomposited with a bit of camera movement and some colour correction. So I hope that was enjoyable. Hope you understood just the basic. So in a nutshell that's how I created this shot and it's a similar technique for the other shots. One of the main things I forgot to mention, sorry, is the head was in fact motion track for position and rotation. I used the uh, two eyes as the motion track points and that kept the we can see the no objects fairly locked to to it and if it got off a bit, like you can see it moves a bit at the beginning, you can clip off them frames and for the most part you can't well, you can't see the original head so if it moves slightly differently it's not going to make any difference and it looks like it's pretty much attached to the, uh, to the neck. So thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with another breakdown of visual effects inside of Friend of the Devil. Damn. What about the castle?